Hi and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a website for a plumber really simple and easy using Mighty Sites. So you can see Mighty Sites is a platform with all these different themes and website templates for small businesses. All you need to do is go in here and you can just search for plumber and here is the plumber website template. So I'm just going to click on this. First thing it's going to ask you to do is just enter your name, so I'm or your company name. So I'm going to type in Keegan's Plumbing service and then i'm going to go down here type in where i'm located so denver colorado and then i can choose my type of business i'm going to choose a service because a plumbing business is a service business and click continue and just like that the platform is going to instantly generate a website for my plumbing service so if you are a plumber looking for a website this is the easiest way to create a simple professional website for your plumbing business. So you can see just like that, all of the pictures, all of the text is written for me. And now all I have to do is just edit the template, which is really easy to do and connect my domain and launch the site. So let me just show you what it looks like to make some edits. So first I can click on update section for any of these sections and I can enter in uh, information. So contact information is always a good idea. So I'm gonna type in my phone number, click save, and now my phone number shows up right here on the website. Let's just say I wanna add my email address uh, so we can connect to people. I'm gonna add my email address, click show email. Now my email shows up on the website. Let's just say I have like a Twitter or Facebook page and I wanna add that too. I'm just gonna type Facebook and you could just copy yours too, but I just copy the link to my Facebook page click save and now my Facebook page is here. Now, same thing for YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Uh, you can just paste those in and the icon will show up along with the link. So once those are all set, now I have some basic information. If you wanna add your actual address, you can do that. Um, or if you just wanna put the city and state that you, that you serve with your plumbing services, you can do that too. Next, I'll probably look over here and make some updates to either my menu, which I can add new menu items, uh, simply type in what I want it to say and where I want it to link to. So either a place on my website, another website, I uh, want it to be an action like call me or if I wanna upload a PDF with information, I can do any of that with the links. The logo is, a, is obviously an important part. So if you have you can leave it as just uh, your name written out, that's fine, but if you do have a logo, you can just browse and upload it. If you need a logo for your plumbing business, I would, I would suggest you go check out canva.com. It's really easy to use, and you can just go over here and create a logo, just create a design, logo, and then right over here, just kind of search for your business type. So I'm gonna search for a plumber, and you can see, look at all these professional logos they get created right away for me. So this is this is really awesome. And now I can just simply pick a logo that I prefer. And let's just say, I'll save this as plumber logo. And I'll download it to my computer, download it as a JPEG. And now instead of paying you know an expensive design project, now I've just created a logo really simply and easily here in Canva. So I'll go back over here, browse, I'll upload my logo to my new plumber website, save my logo, and you can see now the logo's here. Now I can make it bigger if I want, I can make it smaller, and because this logo had a lot of room around it, I'm actually gonna make some edits. So I'm going to go right over here to this pencil, and I'm gonna click on that pencil, and it opens up all of these image and logo editing tools that I can use in the back end of the system. So right now I just need the cropping tool, so I'm gonna bring this down like that, and just kind of crop out that extra space that was around my logo to make it a little bit better fit on the website. Once I'm done, I click done. It's gonna automatically save the new version for me. I'm just gonna click save. And now you can see that my new logo is here and it looks really sharp on the site. Now, if I wanna do the same thing, let's just say I wanna make it a little smaller now. Maybe that works. Um, now it's all set, made it a little smaller. You just click save. Now that section is updated. So you can see I've got a really nice website coming along for my uh, plumbing business and it's been really easy to make edits and add things. So next I'm going to go to the hero section and just click on update section. Maybe I want to change some of the hero text. So let's just say I want to just leave it at this plumbing services. So I'll just say plumbing services here and then um, 
and then maybe I'll just say quick and reliable service. And then here for request a, a quote, maybe I'll just change this to request a quote. So you can leave all of that as it is, or you can, you know, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make some simple edits too. Now for request a quote, a great way to do this is just have that link directly to your um, call to action section. So you can go to your call to action section or your about section, or you could just have that be a phone call, right? So I can click here on click to call and save. And now if someone's on their phone and they click on request a quote, it'll automatically call my business too. So, which is, which is really nice. Um, so now it'll request a quote. And then if I go down here and I want to make any edits, I can go in here and I can make any updates to any of these uh, sections too. So again, this website's coming along really sharp. I can go down here and I can type in, okay, let's just say I wanted to add something here, change it. This is how to make a website for a plumber, right? So I can just type in the text, close it. Now it shows up really nice and clear. That contact button, I can again, choose to have it linked to other sections. I can have that also call me. I could even upload a PDF of my rates or something like that and just say, you know, check out our rates. So I can change the button here. So it all depends on what you want to use those call to actions for, either to call you, you could use those to email you too. So if you want to just have someone, um, you could say reach out by email and then you could choose how you link that and go to action and then click to email. And now when someone clicks on it, it'll automatically open to email your business. So now request a quote, we'll call you, reach out by email, we'll email you. You can edit any of these images just by browsing and uploading a new image, or you can use the images that are there. You can edit any of the service sections here too, and then edit any of the addresses. Now, if you wanna change the colors, I think this blue works really well, especially with that logo. But let's just say that you want to change it to a green or you want to change it to a red or earth tones. All of these different color themes are available to you to change your website. And so there's more being added all the time. So just depends on what your look is, what kind of look you want for your business. You can go ahead and go in here and you can change all of these themes around until you find one that you think works best um, in terms of color theme for your business. But again, I, you know, just with this logo, I, I especially like this, this dark blue. So once it's all set, you can go over here to stop editing and return to your site dashboard. And then here you can connect a domain um, and you will see leads. So as you generate leads through your website and they contact you, you'll see your leads show up right here in the lead section. You can go in here and connect your domain. So all you do is type in the name of your domain and it'll provide you with instructions that you give to your registrar. So Google domains or domain.com or GoDaddy, put in your domain name and then Mighty Sites is going to provide you with the instructions to share with them so that the connection gets made between your domain name and your site. And a few easy steps, that'll be set up and you'll even get issued a secure certificate so that your website is secure. Now you can go back and make edits at any time. Um, you can click on stop editing to see what your site looks like without those update buttons. So this is what a consumer will see. And literally within just a few minutes, you can quickly and easily, pretty much instantly generate a simple professional website for a plumber using Mighty Sites. It's the best, easiest to use software platform that exists. So go ahead and give the seven day free trial a start. It's only $9 a month uh, for the whole platform. So it's really inexpensive, really affordable. Give it a try today and launch a nice, simple, professional website for your plumbing business.